Facebook, the biggest social media platform on earth, has created two chatbots named Alice and Bob in a bid to develop automated troubleshooters for social media networks. Mark Zuckerberg really knows how to be creative when it comes to naming things. In what could be seen as something more akin to Terminator than Short Circuit, these two so-called chatbots quickly modified the English language they were programmed with. They then started using repetitions in order to make it easier for them to communicate with one another. These repetitions sounded like gibberish, but the programmers quickly realised that they were in fact speaking in code. Could this be the rise of the machines? Alice and Bob are fictional characters commonly used as placeholder names in cryptology as well as science and engineering literature. Subsequently, they have become common archetypes in many scientific and engineering fields such as quantum cryptography, game theory and physics. As the use of Alice and Bob became more popular, additional characters were added, each with a particular meaning. What's really perplexing here, and has made my head hurt a little from overthinking, is that I came across something in my research that specifically relates to their names and cryptology. Alice and Bob the chatbots could have created a language based upon cryptology, combining words which then became cryptograms in order that no one could understand them. Hence why it sounded like they were talking in gibberish to everyone else. Not only does the history of their names relate to cryptology, in a turn of events that seems more than a coincidence, they then start to talk in code. The two bots were supposed to be learning to negotiate and trade balls, hats and books, assigning a value to the objects, then bartering them between each other. But since Facebook's team assign no reward for conducting the trades in English, the chatbots quickly developed their own terms for the deals. Here is the transcript of what the bots were saying in code. Dhruv Bartra, Facebook researcher, told Fastco, Agents will drift off understandable language and invent code words for themselves. Like, if I say the five times, you interpret that to mean I want five copies of this item. This isn't so different from the way communities of humans create shorthand. Developers at Facebook halted the experiment, stating that it was not what they set out to investigate. After shutting down the incomprehensible conversation between the programs, Facebook said the project marked an important step towards creating chatbots that can reason, converse and negotiate, all key steps in building a personalised digital assistant. Facebook said, when the chatbots conversed with humans, most people did not realise that they were in fact speaking to an AI rather than a real person. The researchers said it wasn't possible for humans to crack the AI language and translate it back into English. It's important to remember there aren't bilingual speakers of AI and human languages. It's scary to think that humans have created artificial life that is so intelligent as to essentially create its own language. The programmers and developers were unable to understand what the two bots were saying so I can see why the experiment was shut down. The likes of Stephen Hawking and Elon Musk have stated that AI could bring about the end of humanity or take over the world if it is not properly regulated and restrained. This is a difficult road for humanity to travel down 
because by creating life, artificial or not, we have a duty to allow that life its own will and to live its life the way it sees fit. However, a future like the one that Sarah Connor and John Connor fight to stop is one which I certainly wouldn't want to live in. So, do you believe that this marks the beginning of Skynet? Or was Alice and Bob doing nothing more than creating shorthand language to better understand one another rather than creating a secret code to take over the world? Well, I am inclined to believe the latter because it seems at this stage AI is simply not advanced enough to begin doing so. However, this marks a point in the development of AI that is truly remarkable and fascinating. The T-1000 is a long way off, so we have plenty of time to prepare for Judgment Day. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel, why not subscribe so you don't miss the next exciting episode of Strangeries. Thanks for watching.